everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious kitchen sink cookies. This is a quick and easy recipe, so let's get started with the video. Begin by melting one stick of butter in a saucepan over medium heat. Continue to cook your butter until it has browned. You'll know your butter is finished cooking when there are brown specks in the butter and it gives off a nutty aroma. When your butter has finished cooking, set it to the side to cool. Next, chop white chocolate and milk chocolate into chunks. Then chop up some pecans. Next, in a pan over medium heat, melt some butter. Once your butter is melted, add your pecans. Then toast them for about 3 to 5 minutes. When you're finished, set your pecans to the side to cool. Next, in a large bowl, add 3 fourths cup and 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. I use light, but you can totally use dark and a half a cup of white sugar. Mix your sugars together and then add your room temperature brown butter. Then mix your butter and sugar together until well combined. Next, mix in one egg, and one egg yolk. After you've mixed in your eggs, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Next, gradually sift in 1.5 cups of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Once you've folded in your dry ingredients, add your chocolate chunks, toasted pecans, and some toffee. Then fold all your ingredients together until well combined. The amount you add is honestly up to you. I added a fourth a cup of everything. I didn't add a lot of chocolate because my family and I aren't really huge fans of like super chocolatey cookies, but it's really up to you on how you want your cookies to be. When you finish making your cookie dough, cover it with plastic wrap and then place it in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes or overnight. Once you've chilled your cookie dough, scoop it out with an ice cream scooper and then place your cookie dough on a baking sheet. Next, bake your cookies at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. When baking my cookies, I decided to try the pan drop method. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is six minutes into cooking your cookies, drop your pan about three times, and then drop your pan again two to three minutes after that. 
The method helps to make your cookies chewy. I found out about this method from a YouTuber named Joshua. I'll have the link to his channel down below. He has some great recipes. When your cookies have finished baking, place them on a wire rack and let them cool. And this is the finished result. These cookies came out great. They were chewy, sweet, and delicious. Needless to say, they didn't last very long. I'm really happy these came out so well. I've made cookies before, but they have never come out looking this good. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.